here with this week's episode of LCC Kids TV, season four, episode number 12. This week's episode is entitled, Feel Good for God. And when I think about feeling good, I think about all of the things that I really love to do that make me feel good. I feel good when I am dancing. I feel good when I am singing. I feel good when I am jumping up and down and running and getting exercise because my body feels good. I feel good when I am also sitting with my friends and listening to them talk and just being with them. But what does feeling good have to do with God? Well, let's find out in this week's episode. Before we start, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for feeling good and all of the things that make us feel good. We pray that you would open our hearts and minds and ears that we might listen and learn from what you want to tell us today. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's time to worship! God made me, he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere and he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. Cause he loves me. God made me, he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. Cause he loves me When I look up, up, up I know he's real When I look down, down, down Leave what I found When I look in God's word And I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me Blessed day everyone, our topic for today is entitled, Feel Good for God. And our scripture reference is from Psalm 149 verse 4a. It says, For the Lord takes delight in His people. Amen. When was the last time you have joy, you felt glad, and you felt happy? What makes you happy? When I eat jalebi. Wow. How about you, Sean? When we eat McDonald's and pizza. When I go somewhere. Somewhere. But what makes you happy? Um, when you make good food. We praise God. Uh, we have our five senses. God gave us the sense of hearing, smelling, seeing, tasting, feeling. Because God wants us to be happy. To be glad so the Lord wants us to experience pleasure this is one of the greatest gifts that the Lord has given to all the people he created amen he wants us to enjoy what we see hear taste smell and touch so the reason you're able to feel happy have fun and love is that God made you in his image the Lord is delighted in each one of us, especially when we are obeying Him, when we are respecting the people that God has given us, our parents, our teachers, all the people that the Lord wants us to respect, especially Him, that wants us to honor Him. 
in everything yeah. that we do. Amen? So, God has emotions too. The reason we have these feelings, these emotions, because we were created in the image and likeness of God. Amen? Amen. So, He feels things very deeply. The emotions. The Bible tells us that God feels compassion. And, and we know that Jesus always um, ministered to people to heal the sick, to raise the dead to life, and even to cast out demons because of compassion. Because He loved the people. He doesn't want people to suffer. Amen? He felt sadness as well and sympathy as much as happiness. He felt glad and satisfied. Mm-hmm. Amen? So every time we are praying... We are praising, we are thanking God, and we are worshiping Him. He is delighted and satisfied in us. Amen? Amen. So God loves and He delights. He rejoices and He enjoys us. And He even loves. He even loves with us or on us. That's why we are the apple of His eyes. He's watching over us. Whatever we are doing, we have to make sure that it is going to please Him. Pleasing God means making Him smile, right? So, if what we are doing, we have to be aware that it is pleasing the Lord because that's what we want, to please the Lord. Amen? Mm-hmm. So, when you enjoy life, you bring joy to God. It, it's like that um, your parents offering you food. And you're enjoying the food. If the Lord is giving us the blessing and you are enjoying it, He is going to smile like your parents. If you are appreciative on the things that, the, that your parents are giving you, your parents are smiling as well, right? So, you are a child of God. Do you believe that? Amen. And you bring pleasure to God like nothing else He has ever created. We are His most precious creation, the people. The Bible says because of His love, God had already decided to make us His own children through Jesus Christ. His only begotten Son is Jesus Christ, but because of what the Lord Jesus had done on the cross, He died for us and saved us. Father can call us His children if we will accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, right? We will become part of His family and we can become His children. That's why we can pray to God, Abba Father, right? So, we have to thank Jesus Christ. Because of Him, we are able to be reconciled to the Father and be part of His family and become His children. Right? That was what He wanted and what pleased him according to Ephesians 1 verse 5. Amen. Are you glad Amen. that the Lord is excited that every day we can obey Him, we can love Him, we can love the people around us, right? And we can enjoy all the blessings that He has provided for us. So praise God. Amen. So let us pray. Shall we pray? Father God, thank you that you made us in your image and likeness. That's why you have given us your gifts of emotions to take care of other people around us so deeply. Help us, Holy Spirit, to bring joy to you and the people around us. Encourage us always to enjoy this life that we have in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. Bye. Bye. Hi everybody, it's Miss Sunshine here and I am here with my friend Carter. Carter, say hi. Hello. So Carter and I are talking about feeling good. So Carter, I'm going to ask you a series of questions and you tell me the first thing that pops into your head. Yeah? So Carter, what is your favorite food? French fries. Ooh, yummy. Carter, what is something that you love to smell? Bed. Your your bed? (laughs) Interesting. What is your favorite sound? What do you really like to hear? Your alarm clock? Interesting. 
What is something you love to feel or touch? Mm. Mm. And what is your favorite thing to look at or what is your favorite thing to see? <laughs> Are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> I can understand. So, when we enjoy life, when we enjoy and are happy with what God gives us, he's happy. Yeah? Because he likes it when you're happy and he likes it when you enjoy what he gave you. Yeah? So, tell me about a time when you were super happy, when you were super excited. Sleeping? Other than sleeping. <laughs> you went You went swimming, yeah? And did you go swimming? Where did you go swimming? Do you go swimming all the time or just sometimes? Just sometimes, which makes it super special, yeah? When we don't do something all the time, it makes it super exciting and we love doing it more, yeah? So, what are some other things you enjoy doing besides swimming? Camping. Ooh, where do you go camping? Whoa, that's super cool. It's been a long time since I went camping. Anything else? What else do you enjoy doing? Ooh, what do you like watching? Ooh, you and me both. <laughs> All right, so we can say thank you to Jesus because when he, we enjoy all of the things that he gives us, he likes it too, yeah? So thank you, Jesus, yeah? All right, it was wonderful chatting with you, Carter. High five, say bye. Hi kids, it's time to wrap up this lesson. Ready? Let's go. What did we learn about feeling good for God? Well, first of all, one of God's greatest gifts to us as people is pleasure or the ability to feel good about whatever it is he's given you. In fact, it's one of the ways that you and I are created in his image, created to be just like him. God feels all of the feelings, including pleasure, and so do we. In fact, it's one of the things God was doing on day seven of creation. If we look all the way back to the beginning of the Bible, we remember that God stopped, rested, and found pleasure or joy in what he had created. God looked at everything that he had made over the past six days, including humans, and said that each and every one of them brought him joy. He said they were good or very good in the case of humans. He loves what he made. But what does this have to do with the rest of our lesson? Well, part of being friends with God is enjoying all that he has blessed you with. Yeah, it's thanking him and enjoying this life that he's given you. In fact, it's one of the ways that you bring him glory. It says in Ephesians 1 verse 5, because of his love, God had already decided to make you his own child through Jesus. In fact, that was what made him happy, what pleased him. That was what he wanted. So what does this have to do with us? And what does this mean? Well, it's the best thing ever. Just as God delighted in Jesus at his baptism, at his baptism God the Father said, this is my son my beloved son, do what he says, listen to him, yeah? 
God said, this is my beloved son. Before Jesus had gone and done anything, before he had gone and made disciples, before he had gone and done all these miracles, he just was. He loved him. He was loved. So this means that whether you decide you're going to take a shower every night of the week or not, whether you decide that you're going to do all of your homework and get the best grades and be perfect in school and treat everyone amazing and there's no plate, there's no complaints from your teachers or your parents, whether you do any of that or whether you do none of it, you are perfectly loved and delighted in by God. You are loved and delighted in by your parents, hopefully. You are loved and delighted in by the God who made you, created you, and knew you before you were even born. The question is, what do you delight in? As we wrap this up, two questions. Number one, what is your favorite sight, hear, hurt, sound, <laughs> touch, taste, and smell? What are all of your things that you delight in? And question number two, what is something you really enjoy doing? What brings you joy or pleasure? As we wrap this up, let's pray. Oh God, thank you for the gift of feelings and emotions and for caring about your creation, us, so deeply. I pray that I would bring you joy as I enjoy this life that you have given me. I pray all of this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's time to let your light shine. Bye!